Let us verify rules theorem for the function fx equal to x square plus 2 on the interval minus 2 comma 2. First of all, we are given a function fx equal to x square plus 2. Is this function continuous on the interval minus 2 comma 2? We know that polynomial function are continuous. So, it is continuous, continuous on minus 2 comma 2. Is this function differentiable on the open interval minus 2 comma 2? Yes, we know that polynomial function are differentiable. So, it is differentiable. on the we do not need closed interval which we can just have open interval minus 2 comma 2 that means we do not have to check the differentiability at the end point but we know that it is differentiable throughout all all the real numbers in fact its derivative is just 2x so it is continuous on the closed interval differentiable on the open interval next step we need to compute the value of the function at the end point we have in point minus 2 and 2. So, what is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 equal to minus 2 whole thing square plus 2. We just need to replace x by minus 2 and that is equal to 4. What about f of 2? again replace x by 2. 2 square plus 2, oh, 2 square is 4, 4 plus 2, that is equal to 6. 2 square is 4, 4 plus 2. Well, final answer is the same. So, if we want to verify rules theorem or if we want to apply rules theorem we need to make sure those three conditions are true first one is the function has to be continuous second one the function has to be differentiable third one the value of the function at the end point f of minus 2 and f of 2 they must be equal whatever be the end point at the end point the value of the function must be equal yes all the three conditions are satisfied so we can apply rules theorem so what does the rule theorem says if the function is continuous on the closed interval differentiable on the open interval and the value of the function at the end point are equal then by rules theorem by rules theorem there exist by rules theorem there exist a constant c such that a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. Rose theorem guarantees us such a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. Not only that, that constant c belongs to the interval minus 2 comma 2. That is, that is c has to be greater than minus 2 less than 2. Now, we are given f x equal to 
Now we have to so since Rho's theorem guarantees such a constant, we should be able to compute that constant. That will be verification of Rho's theorem. Given f x equal to x square plus 2. Now, we know how to find derivative of f x. Therefore, d d x of f x equal to d d x of x square plus d d x of 2 and that is just equal to 2 x. So, what will be the f test c? Therefore, f dash c is d d x of f x at x equal to c. So, replace x by c. So, you get 2 times c. Now, Rho's theorem says f dash c has to be 0. So, we take 2 c equal to 0 that means c has to be 0. When I take c equal to 0, we observe that f dash c equal to 0, definitely so. And clearly 0 is greater than minus 2 less than 2. That constant c has to be uh, greater than minus 2 less than 2. Yes, 0 is greater than minus 2 less than 2. So, we have computed such a constant c so that f dash c equal to 0 and that c lie in between the end point minus 2 and 2. Yes, we have verified Rho's theorem. Of course, we have done it only for this function x square plus 2 and on that interval minus 2 comma 2. We have not proved Rho's theorem.